Now let's continue to the uh, tutorial. So after you open ICM um, from your desktop icon or from uh, the start menu, you will be able to see this um, interface um, like this. Um, uh, to access the tutorial, you can click on help about um, help topics and then this uh, page will show up. And then under the contents tab, there is a ICM tutorial. And then you can click on basic tutorial. And then you can go to opening the example database. Uh, you can uh, toggle expand all to expand all of the um, steps, or you can um, click on the collapse all to collapse all of the steps. For now, I'm going to click on the expand all. So usually ICM use transportable database to store all of the information and to transfer the data. And all of the other workflow will be uh, performed in a uh, master database. So a master database uh, normally includes one or more model groups, um, each of which defines an area of work or uh, contains the data need to uh, run the series of models on a particular network. And it typically contains the data needed to run one or more representations of subcatchment. Uh, so we can go to uh, the first step is start InfoWorks ICM, uh, which I already showed you how to do this. And the second step, we can create a new master database for the tutorial. So for, uh, to do that, first we click on file and then open, and then open create master database. Here you will see there's a work group option and then there's a standalone option. Um, so what the work group option uh, let you create a, a master database on the, a data server um, and the standalone option let you create the database on your local machine. For this tutorial, we are going to create a master database on our local machine. So we will uh, choose this standalone option. Um, so for the, uh, uh, we go to step C, so we can set the location where the uh, new database is to be stored and enter a proper name, um, such as ICM basic tutorial for the master database. So here we will click on new, and then we can uh, go to uh, 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 desired location. Here I'll just go, um, click on, I will just uh, create a master database on this uh, tutorial folder. And then I will give it a proper name called um, ICM Basic Tutorial. And then I click on Save and then click on OK. Now you can see there is a master database um, show up on, the, um, on this uh, panel here. So uh, if you um, if you see it like this, you can easily drag this um, under here so that it will show up on the left side of the window. Um, and you can toggle between different tabs to open different window here. Um, and you can open another master database by click on this uh, icon here, or you can go to window, um, new explorer window. And another trick is you can also hover your mouth to your uh, master database. It will show up, show you the database path and um, other um, uh, detailed information here. Uh, so we will go to step three. Step three is open the transportable database and then copy the data uh, into our master database. So to do that, we can go to file, open, and open transportable database. And then there is a, um, we can select ICM under the tutorial folder. And then there is a um, ICM basic tutorial folder. And then you can see the ICM basic tutorial ICMT. So ICMT is the extension for transportable database. Make sure that you um, have this file under the basic tutorial uh, folder. And then now we can click on open. So you can see uh, there is a, um, a model group called tutorial under this uh, transportable database. 
So we can uh, right click on this tutorial and then click on copy and then right click on the master database and then click on paste tutorial with children. Now we can see uh, the tutorial will be copied under the master database and you can expand tutorial model group to view uh, what's inside. So there are other two model groups uh, within the tutorial model group. So the model group will act as like a folder um, structure similar to uh, file explorer and um, store all of the files uh, for ICM modeling. Um, and uh, I also want to show you that uh, after you open a transportable database, um, other people won't be able to access the same transportable database. As you can see uh, in our basic tutorial, uh, in our tutorial folder, um, the uh, ICM uh, T, uh, T uh, the ICM T is uh, uh, extension is changed to T, uh, T and P data type. Uh, it means that you are not able to open it from another ICM software. So in order to uh, access this uh, transportable database again, you need to uh, close this transportable database in ICM, and then it should be uh, um, changed back to ICMT transportable database. Um, and another uh, issue um, we always uh, see is that uh, when you op close ICM, and you want to open ICM again. Um, okay, so usually ICM will remember uh, when you uh, last open uh, what you last opened in your database, so but you cannot see it. So in order to get that master database window back after you first uh, open the ICM, you can always click on a new group window so that you will see, okay, you already opened this master database. You don't need to reopen it. Uh, you can just you know uh, click on this master database to view the data. Um, and that should conclude the first uh, tutorial. Um, so I'll see you in next one.